dioba-obati Is there any story about this yes. tree? Uh, in the colonial time, eh? Uh -huh. So the it was uh, my name is Gepa. Gepa. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. So the tree was used as a hiding place two hundred years ago. Two hundred years ago. The local people. Local people. Ombalantu tribe. Ombalantu tribe. So this area is uh, Ombalantu. So one of the eight tribes in yeah. There's eight tribes in Ogombala speaking uh, different uh, dialects, but we are understanding each other. So, eight. Yeah. And then, uh, during the tribal wars, because in this area many, there's many barbons, so people they will make the holes inside so that many people can hide inside. So the hole is made by, by people? Yeah, it's not natural, it's oh. made. And there are a lot of barbed trees in this area, it's hollowed like this. Because many people were hiding inside of the trees, mostly women, children, and old people. Where the men is outside, fighting. So that time there was no entrance like this, so they were made neat entrances on top. Ah, so, so you have to... From, from top. That's why you see some, if you saw some sticks inside. Okay, okay, guys, yes, yes was used yeah. for, for climbing up. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of barb of trees was uh, people who just make holes inside this. Mm -hmm. So the, the entrance is on top now is closed uh, natural because the trees grow. Uh -huh. yeah. and then after the tribal was, so this tree again was used as a, as a post office. Mm -hmm. Post yeah, yeah, office? Yes. Yeah, right. Post yes. office from 1870 when the Finnish missionaries came in this area open up this entrance okay. and then it was just as a, like a storage yeah. when the people receiving their packages from the south those the, those people who used to go to the south for the Reba contract yeah. like Olanya Mundu, Rospina Rospina, yes, and yes, so yes, on yes, yes, yes. when they send back their packages home so was transported with the train and three to map from two map we're using the Oxwagons. Oxwagon, yeah. uh, 
taking the tickets from Sume to Ndangwa, from Ndangwa up to here. Yeah. Then after that, then during the the South African colonial era, one of the South African military base was around here. So this tree was inside of the army base. Yeah. Then in the South African army, they were also using this tree for many different things with different purposes. Sometimes they were using it as a, like a chapel, like a church. Yeah. That's why you see the benches inside. So it's made by the South African army. And then sometimes they were using it as a, like a jail. Oh. When they capture people, then they used to interrogate them there inside. Sometimes for their small meetings, for few people. Sometimes as a as a drinking place, like mm. a bar. Bar. Yeah. For when in South Africa. Yes. Yeah. Then after independence, so the the Baobab tree, so it became as a, one of the historical monuments and a, one of the tourist attraction here in the north. Yeah. When the tourists passing our area so those who are interesting to, to visit the farm of the can stop here yeah yeah so it is so special and uh, this is only the, the main point but the story of the power of three it's, it's, it's a long story it's long story yeah, yeah. i just give you the, the main the, point the, yeah the summary of it yeah but this is the, according to the research which was conducted many years ago by the specialists, they say this one is the oldest bubble here in Namibia. And that's why the, 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 here in Namibia, I don't have facilities which can be used to, to determine the age. That's why the, the, the specialists, some they came from USA, some they came from South Africa mm. to come to so they were conducted research okay. in the whole Africa to take the samples from all the Bible trees yeah. so they can determine the age because these trees has no rings. Yeah. Mm, yeah. So the fibers is uh, straight. Yeah. And uh, in Namibia we don't have those facilities. Yeah. And then uh, the outcome they say it's uh, the age is 751. 751. Yes. It was. It was. Um, the, the age was determined through carbon date, carbon, carbon, carbon dating. Yeah, carbon dating. Yeah, carbon. But it was done two years ago. So, yeah, that is it. Mengingat pohon baobab ini tidak memiliki lingkar usia seperti pada pohon-pohon lainnya, penelitian dilakukan oleh ahli dari USA dan Arsel menyatakan bahwa pohon baobab ini adalah yang tertua di Namibia dengan usia 751 tahun pada saat saya datang. Bahkan pohon baobab ini bisa hidup hingga 3.000 sampai 6.000 tahun lamanya. Selanjutnya, kami cuma foto-foto sampai sore dan setelah itu kami pulang. Terima kasih sudah nonton video ini. Jangan lupa like, comment, subscribe jika kalian suka dan share ke teman-teman kalian. Sampai jumpa di video berikutnya. Dadah!